Hi, Nail Fam. I hope that you guys are doing well. It's your girl, Tia Bella, back again with another video. So I do have a, some PR products as well as some products that I have ordered from Born Pretty. And I thought I'd just show you everything that I got. So this first product here is a six in one nail glue gel. And when they were sending me the PR products, I definitely wanted to have some spare ones because I thought they would be really cool to have. This six in one is a nail glue, a nail strengthener, a nail enhancer. You can also use it as a base gel and top gel. So I thought because it had so much uses, uh, it would be a really cool product to have. And I already tested this out as well. And it worked really well. I highly recommend that six in one. So next up we have some rhinestone glue gel and this is inside a little pot. I think in the last PR products that they sent me, I got a rhinestone glue and it was like in a little little small jar with a little um, squeezy end. So this one is a gel polish. I have had this polish before. They've sent me, I think two bottles of this exact same color, number 52. So I didn't want to open up the new one. I just thought I'd show you the one that I already have. And it's a beautiful kind of wine red color. I thought this would be perfect um, for the autumn as well as the Christmas season. So moving on to this next product here, and it says extension nail gel non-stick hand milky white. So I'm thinking that this is the solid builder gel or solid, or it's not poly gel. It has to be the solid builder gel in a, jar i i've done one before so i think that's what that one is all right so now these are some extra products that i ordered um i've already have one of bond pretty's base coats already and i really enjoy using it i i also really like the packaging as well so i ordered two more now during the time that i ordered these extra products i think there was a sale happening i think there was like a 20 percent or 30 percent sale so and the other product that I ordered was reinforcement gel. And this reinforcement gel, I have one already. It worked so well. I think I have shown this in one of my previous PR um, videos. It works so well in terms of wanting to strengthen the nail. So if you need a little bit of strengthening, I highly recommend the reinforcement gel. All right, so the star of the show and the focus of what I want this video to be about is actually these new rubber base gels. This is a new product from Born Pretty. They have never had rubber base gels that I've noticed before. So they were sending me two and I ended up ordering the clear. I think I they sent me this pink and the white one and I'm, I ordered the clear one. So I'm gonna unbox and open up these, uh, show you the ingredients, and then we're gonna get into some quick swatching. Now, what are rubber base gels and why would I want to continue to use them? If you have, you can apply rubber base gels onto your natural nails and you can also apply them onto the uh, soft gel full cover extension nails. Now, if your natural nails are bendable, they're weak, they're brittle, they're breaking and they need a little bit of flexibility because you know some some nails are really flexible like you you can push down on them and they continue to move. Rubber base gels are really great products to apply to your bendy flexible nails just to give you a little bit of strength. Cuz sometimes putting on a hard product like, you know, maybe acrylic or hard gel on top of a flexible nail bed can cause your flexible nail to wiggle beneath that layer of hard gel or acrylic. So it's recommended that you use a flexible product on top of a flexible nail bed. And once your nails start to grow and they strengthen themselves, then you can switch from a rubber base gel to maybe a more stronger and sturdier product like hard gel or poly gel or even acrylic once your nails are in a better and healthier condition. Now, when it comes to using full cover soft gel extensions, of which I will be using today, rubber base gels are also a good uh, nail strengthener on top. Because you know with soft gel extensions, they are flexible as well. If you press down on the soft gel, it's gonna move, it's gonna wiggle, but they won't break. So again, a rubber base gel goes really great on top of a flexible nail bed. And a soft gel extension is also a flexible nail. So I'm going to be using that today and I'm going to be doing a full demonstration, a full video, very detailed video 
of how I apply my full cover soft gel extensions. And then I will do a rubber base overlay. And then I will use the reinforcement gel just to give me a little bit more strength. And then we're gonna finish off with top coat. I quickly wanted to point out that there is HEMA in these products. So if you are someone that suffers from a HEMA allergy, these products are not suited for you. Um, so now let's get into swatching these products. So I'm applying this onto the nail, onto the swatch, and you can see that it is self-leveling. It's not a bulky product, and look at how smooth and evenly dispersed this product is. I am absolutely obsessed with rubber base gels, and I wish I had discovered them so much more sooner. So now that we've done the clear, and we give that a cure under the UV lamp for 60 seconds, now let's move on to this milky white one. And, you, and because these are colored base gels, colored rubber base gels, you don't have to add polish on top of these if you don't want to. Let me swatch the last uh, rubber base gel, this beautiful pink. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. It is the perfect nude color against my complexion on my skin. And this is the color that I'm actually going to be um, demonstrating and using into today's video. So I will quickly swatch this last one, give it a final cure, and then give you a final look at these three colors. All right, so I'm gonna be doing something I've never done on my channel. I'm going to be using some almond, medium almond full cover nails. Now I did do some cuticle work off camera and I wanted to show you the two drill bits that I use. It's like this cone shaped one and then the round ball one. I'm just trying to practice my cuticle work 
and they are looking a little less crustier, I will say. So with a little bit more practice, I'm sure my cuticle prep work will come in handy. I probably will do another separate video on how I prepare my cuticles once I get a little bit more practice in. I don't want to show you the wrong thing. All right. So now I have all of my sizes here for my full cover nails. I'm actually going to be applying this permanent permanently. Now, usually I like to do the pop off method, but I want to stick. I want to hold this out for a while. I want to see how my prep game is. So I'm going to prep these nails and actually adhere them to my nail bed and going to leave them on. So the first thing I do to prepare my nails is I'm going to take my Melody Susie drill and I'm just going to go ahead and buff around that cuticle area on top of the nail, just making that area a little bit thin so that when I apply it to my nail bed, it is going to be a little more flush and I don't have to file and work so hard near my cuticle area. So as much as possible, try to do a lot of your filing and prep work with the nail before you adhere it so that you don't have to do too much drilling onto your nail bed. Now I'm taking my nail drill and I'm etching the inside of this nail just to give it a rough surface so that when I apply my primer and I use the adhesive gel glue, it has, it has a, you know, a rough surface for the gel and the glue to hold onto. Now, because I use my nail drill, there's going to be a lot of dust underneath the nail. Take a hard brush, a hard scrub brush, and scrub underneath that nail to try to remove as much as that little leftover residue as possible. Once you're done, you're going to take a alcohol wipe and you're going to wipe down your nail beds. This is also going to double as a dehydration, just removing those natural oils, removing any leftover particles that may be onto your nail bed. Now we're going to move on to the next step of preparing my nails. I'm still going to go ahead and apply some dehydrator and I'm also going to be applying some primer to my nails. I'm going to take the primer as well and use that on the inside of my full cover nail and that's going to give it a chemical etching. Now you, you may say you may be comfortable with just using the nail because I've already used a nail drill to etch the inside of my nail. But just to be on the safe side, I'm still going to use the, the primer to give it a chemical etching. Now I'm applying my dehydrator and primer to my nails. And then we're going to go ahead and apply our nail glue to the nail tip. And we're going to apply the nail tip to my nail. Now you will need a UV lamp. I like to use a small portable rechargeable nail lamp. And I turn that on and just give it a quick cure. And then I will follow up with giving it a full cure under my UV lamp, which is 48 watts. I've got my nail glue. I'm going to apply it to the inside of my nail. I'm going to go with a very thin layer and then I'm going to try as much to cover all of my side walls. And then I'm going to put just a little extra to the tip of the nail. So I'm going to turn on my UV lamp first and then I'm going to adhere the nail to my finger and having that UV lamp ready means I don't have to lift my finger up which can lead to air bubbles. So because I had some products spilled to the side, I took the nail off and I'm going to adhere it again and I'm going to add a little bit more product.
Okay, so we cleaned up that little bit of spillage on off of my skin using isopropyl alcohol or you could use acetone. Now we're going to add just a little bit more glue. So now let's finally apply this nail on because we're doing a lot of talking. We're, we, I've got a lot of talking in this video. So we're going to turn that lamp on again. We're going to do a take two and let's see if we can get all of the air bubbles out of this and get that gel all the way to the free edge of the nail. And it looks like we have, were able to get most of those bubbles out. Tiny, tiny little bubbles, you should be okay. But it's just those big bubbles that could pose a problem. And I'm going to cure this under this UV lamp for a full 60 seconds. I'm still going to give this a full cure under my 48 watt lamp for another full 60 seconds once I'm done. So the nail is on, it does look a tiny bit crooked, so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, file and buff the surface of the nail. I'm gonna use my 180 file and gently I'm gonna go around that cuticle area and my sidewalls and just file it off just to make it nice and flush to my natural nail. All right, so now that I'm done filing, I wanna seal my cuticles. I wanna make sure that the nail that I adhered is very flush to my skin. So the final step of me preparing my nail is to use my Melody Suji Gel with a 180 sanding man. And I'm just gonna go ahead around that cuticle area just to make it just a little bit more flush. This does take practice. I still need to practice this just a little bit better because it wasn't 100% fully flush. Like I could still see pieces of the edge of the nail near my cuticle. And another point is I did not apply this nail all the way shoved up underneath my cuticle. I left just a little bit of space because you need that little bit of space so that you can file and make sure that it is flush to your natural nail bed. So now that I have filed and buffed as much as possible i'm going to remove the shine off of this nail and i'm just going to use one of the sponge files that i have the 180 side i'm just going to remove that shine off of the nail and we're going to wipe these down with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol before we go in and apply our rubber base gel All right, so now let's move on to the application of this rubber base gel. And one tip I will tell you is to make sure that you have a fine brush just like this so that you can go along those sidewalls and that cuticle area as well as the tip when you are adhering gel products to your nail, liquid gel products to your nails. Now that our nail bed is ready, now we're going in and applying a very thin layer of this rubber base gel to the nail, okay? You do not need to go and drag the polish all the way to the sidewalls. You do not need to push the product all the way to the cuticle. 
That is why we have those that mini line brush. That mini line brush, we're just gonna take and we're gonna add a little bit of product and we're gonna go along that sidewall. Now you, I learned this with my hard gel um, in nail school, but you can also use this same method for gel polish as well if you want to make sure that you don't flood your cuticles with gel polish. So any liquid, any builder gel, uh, rubber base gel, gel polish, um, top coat, base coat, anything that's liquid, you could definitely use a nail line brush to get those sidewalls, um, that free edge and that cuticle area. All right, so I want this to be a little bit more pink. So I'm gonna go in with the second layer of this rubber base gel, and I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing that I showed you previously. All right, so I'm liking how the nail is coming along. I'm satisfied with the two layers that I've put on. Obviously, if you wanted this to be a little bit more pink, you could go in with a third layer, but I'm satisfied with the pink. So now I'm just gonna go in with some reinforcement gel.
So now that we're done applying that reinforcement gel, I'm gonna go ahead and just add some super top coat to this nail. Now, obviously, if I was doing a fancy nail design, this is where I would actually apply the nail design, the gel polish, you know, foils, glitters, any of those, any things of those sort, I've applied here. But I'm just gonna go ahead and leave these nails nice and natural, na nude and naked and plain and just add some super top coat to this and then give it a final cure for 60 seconds. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do the other four fingers off camera because I'm basically doing the exact same thing. So there's no need for me to, you know, prolong the video. This is the first layer. And then finally, this is the second layer with my super top coat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really detailed tutorial. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.